So many of you have seen the first video where I talked about this kegerator. This is the New Air 5.8 cubic foot single tap kegerator. It's a great kegerator and it is going to become my new kegerator, but there's a slight problem with it. It only fits three kegs and I typically run four kegs. So today I'm going to do a little bit of modification of this kegerator to uh, make it fit four kegs and have four taps on it. So it should be a lot of fun. So the first thing I did was just unplug the kegerator and take all the kegs out, disconnect everything, uh, and make sure there's nothing left in the draft tower. The first thing I have to do here is take the door off, um, but in order to take the door off, we have to take the top off of the kegerator first. And in order to take the top off, I have to take the draft tower off. Now there's three screws in the back here that we have to take out to take off the top. So I should be able to now just pop this off. Now it is attached by wires, so I'm just gonna keep that on. I'm just gonna push this back a little bit and keep it out of the way. So now we gotta take these screws out from the bottom of the door hinge. And then I can just take this and pop it off out of this pin here and the door is off. So now uh, I'm going to start putting together the frame for the collar on this thing. So first got to pop the top off and pull out the door pin if I can. Okay. So I pre-cut some pieces of 2x6. Um, I have two 24-inch cuts for the short dimension and two 29-inch cuts for the long dimension. Uh, that's going to allow us to fit that fourth keg in there. The, the wood itself is going to be hung from the metal frame on top here, and then I'll put some reinforcing stuff on the bottom. Uh, but we want to try and avoid drilling into the, into the actual sides of the fridge because that can risk uh, touching a refrigerant line. We don't want that. So I just really quickly built this frame. Uh, which is going to be the collar that goes on the outside of the fridge just outside of the door. It's just simple 2x6 with a couple deck screws in the end and some L brackets on the inside to reinforce. At some point I'll sand this down, tape it over with uh, HVAC tape and then probably paint the outside of it. Uh, but for now, uh, for the purposes of this video, it's just a quick and dirty uh, just frame to go on the outside. So the collar has now been attached to the keyser uh, using some screws that I set in through the sheet metal on top here. So it's hanging off five screws. Uh, and then I also attached it with HVAC tape around the rim. And then just, you know, for good measure, put the entire thing in a coating of HVAC tape. So now we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to install the door on top of this. So at this point, uh, I've got the door reattached. It wasn't gonna fit via its original hinging system. So I actually just went ahead added some door hinges I got from Home Depot and a uh, cabinet latch here so that it actually will stay shut and uh, it maintains a good seal still. So I kind of put the draft tower in already. I haven't tightened down the screws yet. So this is the distributor for my old kegerator, complete with all of the gas lines already attached to it. So I'm just going to use this and uh, literally just put it in the back of my kegerator um, with some command Velcro strips. I'm gonna call this line one. I'm gonna put a little one on the tubing. So I've already marked all of my gas lines, one, two, three, and four, uh, just with a number so I can keep track of which ones are which and which ones are controlled by which regulator switches. I'm not going to mark out the beer lines until we actually have kegs hooked up and I find out which tap up there is which line down here. But first we have to hook these up to beer uh, disconnects. So I got all four lines set up. Now it's time to work on the draft tower itself and set up my purlic taps. So whether you're installing a purlic tap like this or a regular faucet, it doesn't really matter. The process is pretty much the same for these. So take it, um, and you're just gonna hold it straight up and down. Make sure that you have it as, as level as possible so your tap handle at the end of the process is gonna be straight up and down. Uh, and then just rotate this little uh, collar thing here 
uh, counterclockwise until it's tight. And sometimes the kits will come with a little tool like this. You can use this to grab onto the little holes that are in the collar sleeve thing and uh, really tighten this thing down. You're gonna want it to be as tight as possible so you don't have any leakage, but you don't wanna over tighten it either. At that point, you could just take your tap handle and attach it as necessary. And there, you have a working tap. And there we have it, a four tap setup on top of our kegerator. The last thing we gotta do is get four kegs into the kegerator, but also we need to figure out which liquid line goes to which tap and label them so that we don't forget that later on down the road. Uh, so I'll just be taking this keg here and hooking it up to each line to find out which tap has uh, what line. All right, so looks like that's actually tap number one. So now we'll mark that as line number one here. Okay, repeat process for the next one. That's line number three. That was line number two, and then by process of elimination, the other one's line number four. So that was easy. Now those are the only two kegs that I actually have beer in at the moment. But just so you guys will actually believe me that I went through all this work so I can fit four kegs in this kegerator, uh, we're going to go ahead and put two empty kegs in there. So that fourth one's in there. It looks like it's just barely in there, but the door shuts, stays shut, and everything seems to be working out pretty well. So that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I had a lot of fun putting this together. It's a fun little system and it handles pretty well. I think I still have to balance some of the lines a little bit here. It's getting a little foamy. Um, but overall, things are pretty much where we want them to be. For taking a single tap kegerator and bringing it up to a four tap kegerator, I'm pretty happy with the results. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for more content like this. Uh, if you are interested in buying the kegerator or you know, any of the parts that I use to upgrade it, like this draft tower here or any of the other materials, uh, there's links for all of that stuff down in the description box. So don't be afraid to check that stuff out. Um, if you want to support the channel, I would really appreciate it if you bought a t-shirt. This is not one of mine. This is another beer YouTubers, Yeast and the Beasts. However, um, I do have a good selection down below the description box. You can see my Teespring store down there. Big thank you. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters uh, for helping support this channel in a very personal way. Uh, you guys have enabled me to be able to make upgrades like this draft tower here, which I am very grateful for. If you're interested in some equipment that I personally recommend, um, I have an Amazon store, which is linked in the description box as well. So you can find a bunch of stuff there available on Amazon that I've used for many years and thoroughly stand behind for the most part. So feel free to check that out if you're in the market for equipment. Otherwise, I am available on Instagram as The Apartment Brewer if you want to see more frequent content updates and are just curious about what's going on with the channel, what's going on with my brewing, etc. And if you are still here, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I do really appreciate it. So until the next one, cheers. Cheers.